In this lecture video, we studied about the, the continuation of a substation equipment. Under substation equipment, we studied about the high voltage circuit breakers. In this lecture video, the high voltage circuit breakers, we studied only two types only. One is oil circuit breakers, that is OCB and then vacuum circuit breakers, VCB. Now you see this is the classification of a circuit breakers in a substation. The circuit breaker is classified into AC circuit breaker and DC circuit breaker. Again the AC circuit breaker is classified into high voltage circuit breaker and low voltage circuit breaker. In our syllabus we only studied about the high voltage circuit breaker. The DC circuit breaker again classified into high voltage DC circuit breaker. The high voltage circuit breaker is classified into two types. One is oil circuit breaker, another one is oil less circuit breaker. The oil circuit breaker is classified into bulk oil circuit breaker, low oil circuit breaker. The oil less circuit breaker is again classified into air brake circuit breaker, air blast circuit breaker, SF6 means uh, sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker and then uh, vacuum uh, circuit breakers. This is the classification of the circuit breakers in uh, substations. Now we studied about the introduction to circuit breakers. The electrical power transmission networks protected and controlled by the high voltage circuit breaker which is placed inside the electrical grid substation only. So the high voltage circuit breaker is the uh, protective device as well as the controllable devices which is used in the electrical power transmission network which is placed inside the electrical grid substation. In the substation, the protection relay scheme can be complex and the protecting equipment and the buses from various types of the overload fault or ground fault or earth fault. The, for this purpose only we are using the protection relay scheme in the substation. What are the electrical protection should be provided against uh, the, the following abnormal conditions. Abnormal condition means what? Overloading. Overloading means what? Excessive currents. No, that is the overloading currents. Then transformer fault. Short circuit fault between phases. Phase to phase short circuited. Then short circuit fault to earth. This is, is nothing but the earth fault. So, these are the abnormal conditions. The electrical protection is required to protect the substation equipment and circuit. The continuation of introduction to high voltage circuit breaker. The circuit breakers have contacts. The contacts is immersed in the oil and then uh, there is oil circuit breaker and then the current disconnect take place in the oil which cools the arc developed and thereby the cool the arc only. Three poles in the oil circuit breaker for three phase power supply is you protected the three phases and then the poles of the small oil circuit breaker placed in one oil tank only. The large high voltage circuit breakers have each pole in a separate oil tank. If small oil circuit breaker means only one tank, all the three poles, so that means um, inside the one tank only. But if a large high voltage circuit breaker means each pole, that means R, Y, B, each pole, that means placed in a separate oil tank. The oil tank in oil circuit breakers, that means normally shielded only, it is very very important. The electrical connection between the contact and the external circuits are made through the 
porcelain bushings uh, the previous slide you see you know the power transformer and the distribution transformer top and all the porcelain is there no that bushings we have to use then the uh, what is the classification of uh, high voltage transformers high voltage transformers the high voltage transformers this is the classification of high voltage circuit breakers the high voltage circuit breaker classified into oil circuit breaker vacuum circuit breaker um, hexa sulfur uh, fluoride circuit breaker that is sf6 circuit breaker air blast circuit breaker or air air brake circuit breaker both are same only totally four types of the high voltage circuit breakers so the high voltage circuit breakers uh, then used for indoor and outdoor substation applications now you see this is the uh, classification of uh, oil circuit breaker the oil circuit breaker the abbreviation is ocb the oil circuit breaker comprises the tank filled with the insulating oil only okay there are two kinds of the oil circuit breaker is there one is bulk circuit breaker another one is minimum oil circuit breaker that means mocb bulk oil circuit breaker is BOCB the abbreviation okay sometimes the abbreviation is used by the question paper setter this is the oil circuit breaker classification now you see the oil circuit breaker diagram the oil circuit breaker consists of gas vent this is the this is the fixed contact this is the moving contact circuit breaker having two contacts so this is the uh, glass enclosure that is a fiber enclosure this is this is, is the drain valve okay so the dark uh, this line is there no? this is, is nothing but the operating uh, rod the elliptical shape of like this is there no? this is, is nothing but the supporting uh, chamber okay and then uh, the arc extinction device this is the arc extinction device and then uh, the whole term is nothing but the circuit breaker chamber this is the breather this is the top chamber so this is the oil level okay so these are the parts of the oil circuit breaker so the function is same circuit breaker means what that whenever the fault occurs otherwise any abnormal conditions the fault current is sensed by the relay okay so the relay coil energizes the uh, energizes due to fault current so the uh, the relay coil is connected to the trip uh, contact of the uh, circuit breakers so the coil energizes so therefore that push the contact of the circuit breaker in under normal condition the circuit breaker is normally closed position during normal condition during fault condition abnormal conditions okay so the due to the movement of the coil energization of the relay that means the nc becomes the no normally opened so therefore the circuit breaker that means is used to protect the substation equipment or the circuit from the power supply during fault condition so circuit breaker this is the line means this is the circuit breaker symbol this is the circuit breaker symbol connected here only so here ct also is connected okay the primary is connected to the phase the secondary current of the ct is connected to the relay coil okay so the relay contact the the coil only that means connected to the circuit breaker contact so if the secondary of the current coil that means current transformer that means the, the that means the fault current flows through the secondary of the current transformer then the that current only is used to energize the relay coil then the coil boosts the conduit so therefore the circuit breaker conduit nc becomes no this is the common procedure for all the types of the circuit breaker so this is the images for your purpose only you see uh, this is the oil minimum circuit breaker omsb to draw the circuit diagram you see this is the top chamber 
this is the oil level this is the gas vent okay and then this is the fixed contact this is the moving con this is the moving contact this is the drain valve this is also drain valve this is the operating rod this is the supporting chamber this is the terminals this is the terminal and then this is the lower fixed contact lower fixed there are two contact is there one is fixed contact another one is lower fixed contact so the this portion only is known as the arc extinction device similarly the bulk oil circuit breaker uh, this is the moving contact so this is the dielectric oil only this is the conductor okay so this is the bushings okay then this is the fixed contact this is the fixed contact so the in between in between that means what this is the fixed contact this is the moving contact in between only the arc formed okay this is the arc formed the red color like this is there that is the arc formed this is the tank oil tank only okay this is the image of the oil circuit breaker and bulk oil circuit breaker then now you see what are the important key points of the circuit breaker okay so the oil circuit breaker is designed for 11 kv to 765 kv only the uh, the fixed conduit and the moving conduit immersed in the oil bath only okay the oil is used in the oil circuit breaker for cooling purpose only and then uh, it act as a good dielectric medium that is the oil and then the oil that act as a points as the arc you know because this is the moving conduct this is the moving conduct fixed conduit in between only the arc produced okay that is the uh, points as the arc okay so therefore in the oil circuit breaker fixed conduit and movable conduit is there three porcelain fuses for three phases and then the three phases line current is set to fixed conduct only then the circuit breaker initially is the closed position the line current of the each phase penetrate the tank that means by means of porcelain fusing flow through the first fixed conduct to the second fixed conduct then out by the second bushings this is the important key points of the oil circuit breaker then what is the advantages and disadvantages of oil circuit breaker the oil has good dielectric strength there is high dielectric strength low cost oil is easily available it wide range used because the breaking capacity and then oil is a very good insulator the cold oil is able to act as a insulator also this is the advantages of oil circuit breaker disadvantages of oil circuit breaker slower operation that means the 20 cycles for arc quenching and then it is highly inflammable so therefore high risk of fire then high maintenance cost these are the disadvantages of the oil circuit breaker now we studied about the vacuum circuit breaker the abbreviation is vcb so the vacuum circuit breaker what this is the moving contact this is sorry this is the fixed contact this is the moving contact okay so this is is nothing but the end shield this is the insulating envelope this is the shielding support flange okay this is the bellows shield this is the bellows okay so this is is nothing but the vapor condensation steel the inside the, the red color star like this is the and this is the arc only so the arc that means produced by in between the this is the moving contact this is the fixed contact in between only the arc this is the fixed contact this is the moving contact in between only that means the arc coincide this is the procedure for the circuit breaker that is the basic principle of a circuit breaker now you see what is the important key points of the uh, circuit breaker okay so the vacuum circuit breaker is useful for controlling and protecting the electrical systems okay that is substations the vacuum circuit breakers having the many advantages compared to other types of circuit breakers the vacuum circuit breaker designed for the voltage range 3.3 to 33 kv that is the oil circuit breaker 33 that is the 11 kv to 765 kv oil circuit breaker used 
but the vacuum circuit breaker used 3.3 kV to 33 kV only and then the vacuum pressure you know because the air only used as a vacuum so therefore the vacuum pressure of the vacuum circuit breaker is 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 so inside the arc extension chamber the arc burns in the metal vapor when the contacts are disconnected at a high voltage it is the rate of dielectric strength is very high only for vacuum circuit breaker and then due to vacuum uh, vacuum vacuum the arc extinction between the moving contact and the fixed contact is very fast so therefore the contacts lose metal gradually due to the formation of the metal vapor only this is the important key points of the vacuum circuit breaker okay then the continuation of that means vacuum circuit breaker is is a type in this type of circuit breaker the contacts of the circuit placed in the permanently sealed vacuum interpreter and then the arc is coincided when the contacts are separated in the high vacuum these type of the uh, circuit breakers that means the vacuum circuit breaker advantage less bulky cheaper in cost negligible maintenance and long longer life also in the vacuum circuit breaker la the vacuum only is used as a insulator it is used as a r coincing medium and then the vacuum circuit breaker is used as a high voltage control sys here we didn't use the oil okay no oil is used in the vacuum circuit breaker Therefore, the vacuum circuit breaker is not occurring any fire problem because we didn't use the oil. Okay, so this is the important key points of the vacuum circuit breaker. Now, we studied about the advantages of the vacuum circuit breaker. The first one is free from arc and fire hazard because we didn't use the oil and then low cost for maintenance and simpler mechanism and then low arcing time and but high contact life only and then silent and less vibration operation and then due to vacuum nala the contact remain free from corrosion only now and then no byproduct formed during arc coincing in the circuit breaker this is the advantages of the uh, vacuum circuit breakers what is the disadvantages of the vacuum circuit breakers high initial cost okay you see here and all the maintenance cost only is low but the initial cost that means high for a vacuum circuit breaker the surface of the contacts are depleted due to metal vapor only and then the high cost size high size required for high voltage circuit to break you know, because the rating is what 3.3 kV to 33 kV only okay if the high voltage the vacuum circuit breaker used as a high voltage circuit breaker at that time the cost is high and then the size also uh, increase this is the disadvantages of a vacuum circuit breaker dear students i hope that in this lecture video you clearly understand the what is the classification of a circuit breaker high voltage circuit breaker and then what are the types of high voltage circuit breaker and then introduction to circuit breaker and then uh, oil circuit breaker and then classification its advantages working function and and then vacuum circuit breaker diagram uh, working function and then advantages and disadvantages. Thank you student for watching this video.